I was involved uh, through primary school. Uh, I was the fastest kid at school and everything like that. Then I went to high school and I came kind of uh, the small fish in a big pond. I got lost a little bit in athletics and especially I was up against uh, some pretty nice athletes in uh, Kirtley Beal who is now playing for the Waratahs and also Australia as fullback so uh, he was smashing me up over the 100 metres as well as long with his couple of his mates and I tried my, leg, my legs at long jump uh, and happened to run into a coach who was coaching me at school in long jump that was training with uh, Fura, who's actually my current coach Irina's mother uh, and so I got into athletics, uh, disabled athletics that is, through that pathway uh, and I got to meet Irina and then eventually came down here to the AAS to train with her. My biggest advantage is that I'm a real competitor. Uh, coming up through boarding school and high school, I've obviously learnt and I've got five sisters so you need, you need to be a competitor just to get noticed in that environment and get some food at the dinner table. Do my sisters have an impression on me in my fashion sense? Pretty good question. Um, I think a lot of people would say my fashion sense is a bit strange. I like to be, be a bit of a peacock, wear a few uh, strange things, get people to notice me. Um, I don't think they've really had much of an impression on me. I think they'd tell me to take the stupid sunglasses off and uh, put a shirt back on. Um, but I suppose growing up in a, uh, in a female household, I know what's supposed to be and I think I just don't do it. <laughs> He's our hand one. He's got some toe, this young fella. He can sprint. Away, Sullivan slow. Joe burst out and O'Hanlon's running well. Sullivan's not going to medal, but O'Hanlon will. It's going to be the major medal. Here comes Senyuk on the outside, but O'Hanlon wins the gold for Australia. Look at the time. 10.98, you called it, Tim. The first CP athlete inside 11 seconds. O'Hanlon wins. I love the pressure, uh, as you would have seen in Beijing. When the show's on, I can turn it on, um, and I just, and that's really what was been, what's been missing for me in the last couple of years uh, in the domestic season is that there's not that pressure on me. I don't have to run as fast as I can, so I really like getting out there. People are watching me. Some people don't want me to go well. Some people do. So I really like that. I really like the pressure. Athletics gives me a lot of no a number of things. Um, it gives me the opportunity to, well, get paid to do what I like to do. Not much, but I get paid. <laughs> um, and then also, it kind of makes it makes me feel good about uh, representing other disabled people around the world. Uh, I feel like if I can run 1096 for the 100 and say that to other people, people have got to kind of take notice of other disabled people. I mean, if I can run that fast, there's obviously contributions to other parts of society that other disabled people can make. Uh, you know, we may look look a little bit silly or look a bit different compared to other people, but. Intellectually, we're all there and we can contribute as well. A gold medal double for Emma O'Hanlon. He's done it in a new world record time of 21.99. Ahead of Joe and Senyuk. The glamour boy has picked up his second gold medal. He is number one. New Zealand's coming up and uh, the next big event for us. First one since Beijing and I'm feeling really good. Uh, I've, I'm fitter than I have been, stronger than I have been and I'm faster than I have been. Uh, I'm doing five events hopefully if I stay in one piece the whole week and uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. I want to win every event. I don't, run, I don't run or jump to come second. I run to win so hopefully I can come back with a bag of gold medals.